What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I bring to you my new series, My Hot Toys Iron Man Collection, Volume 1. Those that know me know, Iron Man is one of my favourite characters of all time, and Robert Downey Jr.'s performance, for me, it's the greatest. To me, he will always be Iron Man, and so, with this new series, I will focus on My Iron Man Collection. This being Volume 1, actually came about as I had just received my Battle Damaged 85, which I immediately put into the iconic snap pose live in my unboxing with my guys, KG the Collector and Loco Lou. Shout out to you guys, you're both legends. Now, I thought I would do a showcase eventually posing this guy up showing what he could do. However, as time went on, I couldn't bring myself to take him out of that snap pose. So for that reason, this showcase is dedicated to displaying the iconic snap pose with other figures in the collection to give you guys an idea of the scenes I intend to create in my display once fully set up. Now, just a reminder that in my showcases, I use multiple figures and or accessories to help tell the story for each scene. And it's my intention not only to create something to admire, but to help give display options to you guys, my fellow collectors, on how you can enjoy and get the most out of your collection too. So don't forget, if you like my content, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and continue to make this type of content, not to mention I really, really appreciate all the support guys just for doing so you go in the draw to win yourself a really cool prize we have going on the channel at the moment which i'll touch on at the end of the video but now with that you know what we do scene number one iron man versus thanos to kick it off in the moment where thanos realized he didn't have the stones and then tony reminds him who the real king is right before the snap I had to do it guys, I've been waiting a long time to put these two together to recreate this moment, and it's finally here. One of my favourite moments in movie cinema, more than 10 years in the making, finally on the turntable. I think they look great together, and I think this is a strong contender for a long term shelf display option if you have both of these guys in your collection. I imagine displaying this in a modu case or a wide type of setup where you could have the Avengers behind Tony and the Black Order behind Thanos. That, I think, would be a great moment to recreate. But for now, I'm happy to have these two together like this. What do you guys think? How many of you will be displaying these guys like this in your collection? Let me know in the comments down below. Scene number two, my big four from Endgame. We have Tony, Steve, Peter, and Thor. Now, for this scene, I wanted to put all of these guys together in iconic poses that represent moments from Endgame, as I think this would be another really great display option if you just want to showcase your heroes together on the shelf. We have Tony, of course, doing the snap, Cap catching Mjolnir right before he says, Avengers, assemble. Then we have Spidey in one of his iconic crouching poses that Tom Holland does so well. Then we have Thor catching both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker right before he transforms into his battle suit before taking on Thanos in Endgame. I love how this setup looks and in my final display I'm strongly considering adding my other heroes and having them all in iconic moments like this together on an Endgame shelf.
Scene number three, we now pair up both the Mark 7 and Mark 21, the Midas, here with Tony. From now, I'll be playing around with pairing up my collection of Iron Man figures with him in the snap pose, in a way to welcome him to the collection, but to also explore some display options for an Iron Man shrine, celebrating his different suit designs alongside the masterpiece of a figure, the Battle Damaged 85. For the poses, we have the Mark 7, one of my absolute favourite suits and figures of all time, leaping into the air about to blast his repulsor. Then we have the gold, all of the gold, the Midas in all his glory, leaping up, blasting his repulsor in another direction. Now as the Midas is just a repaint of the Mark 7, I think it was fitting having these two posed up together to showcase their amazing suits and how dynamic they can actually get. Scene number four, we have both the Mark 43 and the Mark 45 from Avengers Age of Ultron paired up together along with Tony here and I have to say I'm loving these guys together. You don't see a lot of these suits but what you did see was awesome I think. Avengers Age of Ultron is still one of my favourites with everything it had in it and I love the difference between the 43 and the 45. You can see Tony bulked up to take on Ultron as the 45 was definitely a little more juiced up compared to the 43. For the poses, I wanted to incorporate the accessories that come with these guys so I decided to bring them down closer to the ground and have them interact with the bots on the same level as the 85. Both of these guys have the button in the back to extend the hips, which I think makes it super easy to achieve these kneeling type poses. I quite like that option for posing. If you guys have these figures, let me know what you think. Scene number five, we have both the Mark 46 concept and the Mark 47 teamed up together to complement Tony here. I tell ya, I need that Mark 46 to complete my trio. I must acquire him, somehow. But for now, alas, we rockin' with just these two, and I must say, I am loving how they pair up with him too. The design of these suits from Civil War and Spider-Man Homecoming were the last mechanical suits Tony wore, and overall I love the sleek design. Even in figure form, they articulate really well, and both have great ankle mobility, which is so welcome with die-cast figures. For the poses, we have the 46 walking around looking menacing, which I think visually leads well into the 47 lifting off around to the side. Almost like the 46 concept is in the position the 47 was in right before he took off. What do you guys think of this one? Can you see that or am I just crazy? Let me know in the comments down below. Cheers.
Scene number six, we have the nanotech suits, the Mark 50 and the Clean 85, both in ground pound poses, which for me, visually, is one of my favorite display options for these guys just like this. I could definitely see myself having all three in the display like this on the shelf to showcase Iron Man from Infinity War and Endgame. I love both the mechanical and nanotech suit designs, but I think I like the nanotech just a little bit better. I love both of these suits for different reasons too. I love the 50 for its sleek multi-purpose design, and to be fair, I think it's the suit we see the most action out of. Then I love the 85 for its muscular look and beautiful colors. For the poses, the ground and pound can be difficult to do, and for me, I always think I could keep tweaking the look as it's very hard to get 100% from every angle on the turntable. For your display on the shelf though, just get it to an angle it looks best from and set it up that way because when you do that, I think it's just a great look for an Iron Man figure. For me, I would definitely have at least one or two of my Iron Man figures always in a ground pound pose. Which Iron Man do you guys think could pull off the ground pound best? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Scene number seven, we have the 50 and 85 again, but this time posed up a bit different using some of the accessories they come with along with the 50s accessory pack that I also have. I will have my second Mark 50 soon, and when I do, I'll be doing a showcase posing them up together using all the accessories which I cannot wait to play around with, so stay tuned for that. Now, for the poses on this one, we have the 85 here simply walking forward with both energy blades in hand. Using the energy blade from the Battle Damaged 85 and the energy blade that comes with the 50s accessory pack, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. The new one is painted a lot better, I must say. Then for the 50, we have him with both ramming arms and one of the leg clamps he used to fight Thanos with. Honestly, I don't think there is an Iron Man figure with more display options than the Mark 50. If you're an Iron Man fan, plus if you love the variety that the Mark 50 and accessories pack has, this is a must for your collection. Do not sleep on the Mark 50 guys. It is awesome. Scene number eight, surprise, I have two clean 85s. And yes, I know I'm crazy, but this display here is something I could definitely see myself leaving them all in on the shelf. This look is specifically designed for my Modu case setup and I think a really cool way to showcase the 85 in all its glory. Having the snap in the middle again with both clean versions posed up either side is part of the shrine I envision having to honor Tony's memory. My plan is to change up the two poses either side of Tony every now and then and because I have two of these guys, I don't have to settle for one look. I can have two iconic moments at either side of the most iconic moment which for me is how I will be structuring my display room and collection in the future. I love the idea of having shrines dedicated to my favorite characters and this type of stuff is what I'll be doing with all of my figures moving forward. <laughs> 
Now, for the poses, on this one I wanted to have both of them in the air, looking off in opposite directions, which for me visually makes sense with this look, seeing it from front on here. I see endless display options with this setup too, and I can't wait to see what else I can come up with in the future with these guys. Scene number nine, my favorite. A display made for the turntable, but also able to be designed for the shelf, and I'll tell you how. But first, we have the Mark 50, the Battle Damaged 85, and both Clean 85s all together for my Ultimate Avengers Infinity War and Endgame display. This for me is what collecting is all about, guys. Being able to recreate moments like this just brings me so much joy. Man, I love these figures. We have the 50 in a similar pose to the very first pose I had him in when I took my first photo and posted it on Instagram. This is inspired by his look on the Avengers Infinity War poster where he had both his arms out and helmet off. Still one of my favorite looks for this suit. Then we have both 85s in iconic repulsor blasting poses and I have them kneeling as I feel visually it highlights both the 50 and battle damaged 85 together in the middle perfectly. For the shelf, all I would do is turn the 50 around so he's hovering above Tony doing the snap and then place both 85s on either side. I think that will be a display I run with for quite a while, that's for sure. I'm loving this one. Scene number 10, the outro. Here we have Tony, all by himself, up close and personal to close this out. Honestly guys, this is my favorite figure in my collection. Not just for the look, but also for the moment you can recreate with it. Now I'm sure someone will correct me, but right now, I don't know any other figures that could capture such an iconic moment like this one here. It truly is hot toys at their finest. But now, we've reached the end for today, I thank you all for tuning in, and if you haven't already done so, do us a favor, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. We currently have a giveaway working in conjunction with Unreal Toys on Instagram, where we're teaming up to give away two custom capes to a lucky winner once my channel reaches 2.5k subscribers. So if you have figures with capes and you wish you could articulate them but you can't, hit that subscribe button and you could win yourself some for your figures. We're nearly there. While you're at it, hop on Insta and give Unreal Toys a follow so you can see all the awesome work he's doing, not just on capes, but many other ventures within the 1.6 community. The contest is worldwide, so anyone can be a winner. This is a thank you from me to you for supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Lastly, we got reviews and unboxings, story-styled posing showcases, live streams including my shows Posed Up, where I interview fellow collectors and content creators whilst posing up figures, plus the rundown that I co-host with my guy, Anthony from the Figure Posing Channel, where we deep dive into film and TV. Come check us out live for that one and join the conversation with our awesome chat. For now though, until next time, Live life, have fun, and keep posing. I'm out.